So um, this is my board kind of for today because uh, I tour a lot. So like one of my boards is already on the road. Another one is like set for my band, which is somewhere else. And I do a lot of studio work, you know, depending on the, the gig, the artist, or whether it's my stuff, stuff changes all the time. So this is what I put together for today. Um, some of them are new that I'm experimenting with. Some of them I just use all the time and I have duplicates so I can have them for studio stuff and on the road. So yeah, it's just kind of like, it's a bit messy because yeah, I switch stuff around all the time. And even today I, um, I'll be recording later on and I know it's gonna change by the end of the day. This, the first pedal I have right here, which I literally got a few days ago, the Glomer um, by Pigtronics is um, a volume kind of envelope effect. And uh, you can set it in different ways and just so that your attack isn't as strong and then the volume can swell up. I've been using that, well, yesterday and today. And it does this, that kind of... Um, swells up, instead of having a volume pedal, you can have it set in different ways and it'll do it for you. But I'm still working my way around that one, but it's really interesting, so I've, I've been using it a lot lately. Then I have this Supro drive that kind of, if you crank your amp up or have it at least on a dirty channel, the way I have it, it kind of ends up sounding more like a fuzz. Um, and it's my main pedal for my band Bones. And my main distortion, well, fuzz basically, and it can be quite heavy. Um, yeah, I love this one. And every time I try and find a different pedal for like that main sound for my band, it kinda, I always end up going back to this one. So that's a Supro. Um, Westwood by Earthquaker Devices is a great overdrive. It's a great sounding. Um, again, it's new to my board, but I've been playing a lot with it and it's got like a brighter. Well, you can choose the bass and the treble on it and it's got a drive and a level and it's bitey and cool. <laughs> that kind of thing. As you might have noticed, I always have the arrows on, which is a boost, but I just like to use it on almost all the time because it just makes it, like anything sound better. Like, and then you put it on. It kind of, it boosts it, but it gives it more definition in my opinion. So I kind of love having it on all the time. Especially in studio settings, you can have it, not use it too much as a boost, but more as like a, you know, roundness to the sound. Here on the left, I have the Octava pedal by Pigtronics. And I use this one together with the Pog and the Supro for um, a riff I do again in my band, which when I recorded it, I stacked many guitars. So there's different octaves and obviously live, you can't quite do that. I normally go through two amps and a bass amp and I have an AB pedal so that there's different mixes, like different EQs on the amps and together, so this is just a drive, and you add this one, and you add that, so there it goes. So yeah, it's a big sound. Um, and again, you can play around with all the settings. This um, Pictronics Octava has a fuzz setting on it as well, so you can have it just like this, which kind of sounds like the tentacle by Earthquaker Devices, but the tentacle itself is just incredible because there's no options. There's no options. It's either on or off. I don't have it here today, but I love it. And then this one, yeah, it's got this option. And then you can also fuzz it up even more. It's a bit, it's bitey, but you have two options. Just the little pedal there. 
Um, C machine. I mean, it's got so many options. You can move it around, and it has it's a beautiful chorus, kind of, and it does does make you feel like you're at sea. So it's very beautiful, and I mean, you can exaggerate it all the way and have all the 80s kind of sounds. You can have all the weird sounds too, depending on the ratio. Moving on, um, this afterneath, I think I use all the time as well. Um, it's a reverb, but it's weird. It'll, it has a life of its own, has a mind of its own, really. And the way I use this pedal is just moving stuff around until I find the weirdest kind of thing. Or yeah, just because, yeah, you just have to try it until you find what you're looking for, really, because it does have a mind of its own. Also, I didn't put a boost on this, but you can use it with this. Is Kind of like that. And right here is another, it's called Etolution 3. It's a delay. There's many, many options. This one's really good for studio stuff. Not, I wouldn't necessarily use it live because there's so many options um, and different things that you can play around with. So it's great for when you're in the studio and you have time to sit and do that. Because you don't really want to be going down on your knees all the time when you're performing live, or at least I don't. And now I've put it in something I don't know. So this is has a delay with a swell in it as well. And there's, there's so many options on that one. And the last one is, uh, it's a great, great tape echo, tape delay. It's called, it's by Catlin Bread, Belle Epoque. But I use it in a really weird way. And this might hurt your ears, but I use it in a way that I just. use that live so but it can be a really nice slap back like natural tape echo kind of delay so yeah this is uh, my board to death of today <laughs> 